Hello, it's Brandon from Heartland Marine. Today we're looking at an absolute beautiful 2008 Sea Ray 250 SLX we just got in. It's well powered by the 496 Mag Mer Cruisers 375 horse. It also has the digital throttle and shift. It's got trim tabs, corset, factory installed captain's call exhaust, factory tower. The only flaws I've seen are some light scratches in the graphic sticker down here. It's not in the gel code, just in the sticker. Kind of gives it like a splash look. Stainless steel docking light housings, got the sea ray cleats, stainless steel bow scuff plate. This is not priced for trailer, we didn't get one with it. And what makes this boat ride so well? It's 26.6, weighs like 5,025 pounds. It's a sharp, deep V. Hole's in nice shape, never been beached or dropped or flipped or <laughs> anything funny. port side equally as beautiful I've still yet to find a scratch just some scuffs and stickers as I mentioned it's got the great big molded on swim platform sea ray even extends the little edge there for a tow rail so when you're helping your kiddos on skis tubes knee boards wake boards got a nice place and you don't have to worry about slipping off now it's not what we see that makes boat great it's quality of the hardware that holds it together and that's where sea ray is far beyond a lot of your competitive companies for example, the GG Schmidt Industrial Ladder right here. Great big deep ladder, deeper in the water than you'll ever need it to be. Um, in the boat, you got resin transfer molded lids and lockers. You got full piano hinges. Let's go jump in the side. Look at this thing. All right, now we're aboard the 250 SLX Sea Ray. Have our transom shower here. Look, our vinyl's in impressive condition. As you're probably aware if you watch my videos, I do love the center walkthrough boats because it doesn't put more seating on one side or another. This one also has trim tabs. So it's got the factory tower and this is a style that everybody loves because it's built very beefy. It's usable for toe sports, holds the shade up nicely. Let's stay to one side so we don't get dizzy. Now, as you'll see in my pictures, the filler cushion for the sun pad is built in, it's hinged. The other cushions slide in. I've got them all, they're all in good shape. Now, this boat's got a crazy upgraded stereo, JL Audio, Marine speakers, and subs, and it's all professionally installed with tweeters. Now, these seats swivel and slide. They also got the nice flip up bolster seats. My oh, weight was a great ear to the white with the tan coloring inserts. Now this does have the digital throttle and shift. Back on the engine compartment port side, that's what we saw there. Looking at the helm, it's in great shape. It's only got 200 and roughly 70 hours. If you refer back to the pictures, you can see that better. Deep ski storage compartment in the floor here. It's a redneck GPS. Now this is called a slam latch, so we can slam this to shut the door when it's windy or cool out. Inside here we have a place to slide a cooler or a trash can. We get our table, poles, as well as back of our sub amplifiers. See how nice and finished the fiberglass is. Hopefully. Okay, coming up into the bow is the thing of beauty. The, the way I explain this boat is very true. It's completely finished. It's one of the most detail finished boats, models out there, the 250 and 270 SLX. So you get nice speakers up here with your cup holders, the seats hinge, anchor locker forward, storage underneath all these seats here. Not to keep repeating myself, but hopefully you can tell how nice the vinyl is. So we have fully finished fiberglass storage compartments. It's like that for every one in the boat. I did put the snap-on covers, which are in great shape here. So we have rotocast seat bases. It's mesh, so it breathes air. Then hinging seats. Coming over here. It is equipped with a pump-out head feature. We have our storage box, our mom box, as I call it. My Wife takes all of our stuff and puts it in one in our boat. CD player. Now the remote controls do work. I tried them out. Is there 
head and it's actually pretty roomy. Not a crazy step. Okay. This seat here. Going on back, we got dual batteries with a switch underneath this seat. Absolute exquisite, exquisite model. And this one's in great shape. Well, let's take a look at the engine compartment, shall we? Let's take a look at our 496 mag. This 250 SLX C-Ray has. It's got Corsa Captain's Call exhaust. It's line boat, so it's got a nice finished interior hole. Line of manifolds, everything looks good. Newer motors have the cool fuel system. So we see down here, we got our float for our bilge. Trim pump and our trim tab pump. We got dual batteries with a switch. Showing the stereo is installed professionally. We also got a built in Minn Kota charger here. Just run that plug in somewhere better. Well, there she is. I hope you're pleased with the uh, video presentation. Hope you're pleased with the boat in general. My name's Brandon, and I appreciate the opportunity.